welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome to the Dynamic Piano Studio family. Uh, if you're a returning friend, hey, hey, we're gonna continue the journey. Now, if you have not yet, uh, there is a video that you'll catch right here, and that's all about uh, the first aspect that we covered uh, through our journey of the white keys. So this is video number two. Now we're going to learn the final four white keys before we move into then playing some songs on all the white keys that we've learned so far. So welcome back to the journey or welcome for the first time. So here you have your two black keys. Just a quick review from last class. We had C, D, and E. And then again, we found C, D, and E, and C, D, and E. You actually see from this little video above that it has all the C's marked as well. So that is something that's very useful to you as you're learning to identify these white keys. Today, we're going to learn the next white key group, which is going to be found from our three black keys. Now here we have F, G, A, and B. Now remember, I don't know if you recall, I did mention in the previous video that I'm going to use the two black key group to identify C and the three black key group to identify F. We call these guide notes, so you don't have to learn all the notes at the same time. I guarantee eventually it will become second nature. But at the beginning stage, if you simply remember C and F, and keep in mind that our musical alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then you'll always be able to find the next notes. So we go by the English alphabet where we have C. If you have C, you know D and E. Now for today, if you know F, you know G, A, and B. And you can go ahead and find a few Fs on your keyboard with me. F, then I have another group of three black keys, F. Another lower group, F, and then you have another one, F. Now we're going to start with our right hand and play a simple warm up, where you're going to start low on your piano and you're going to play with fingers one, two, three, four. We're simply going to play and say F, G, A, and B. This will help with your body-mind connection. I'll play first. F, G, A, B. F, G, A, B. F, G, A, B. F, G, A, B. All right, join in. Now it's time for we play. So one, two, right hand play. F, G, A, B. Next, F, G, A, B. Next, F, G, A, B. Let's do it one more time. Next, F, G, A, B. Now it's time for you to pause, practice through that right hand only and come on back. How'd it go? Getting familiar with your keyboard. Let's try it with your left hand now. Remember the left hand makes an L, that's what I'm doing. So left hand, we're going to start up high and we're going to work our way four times down our pianos. So you're now it's opposite. The beauty of music is that we learn easily our alphabet forwards and backwards. So it's B, A, G, F. I'll play. B, A, G, F. 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 We play one, two, left hand start. B, A, G, F. Next, B, A, G, F. Next, B, A, G, F. And last, B, A, G, F. 
Hey, great job. Remember, now is your time to pause and practice. Run it through about two, three, four times. The more, the better, so that you can start to memorize and internalize those notes and come on back. All right, welcome back. So now you've fully warmed up. You have your new notes, F, G, A, and B. Now we're going to go ahead and put a song to it. Now again, if you watch through the first video on the Black Keys, we are repurposing or reusing those same songs. Why? Because instead of it being about learning new notes, new rhythms, new everything, finger numbers, it's a good thing when something is familiar, such as a song you've heard before, so that you're not having to learn everything new at once. All right, now let's jump into our first song, Hot Cross Buns. Remember, we do our process of I play, we play, and then you play. So here is the Hot Cross Buns we're going to play. You'll watch and listen as I play right hand, left hand, and then together. And that's it. So we're going to play the right hand first and then the left hand. Then we'll work our way into the bonus round of hands together. All right, let's start with the right hand first. First round will be finger numbers and then we'll move into our letters. So we'll start with the right, then we'll play the left. One, two, right hand play. Four, hold, three, hold, two, hold, hold. Four, hold, Three, hold, two, hold, hold, hold. Two, 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 two. Three, 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 four, hold, three, hold, two, hold, hold, hold. Now your left hand starting on the two. One, two, ready, play. Two, hold, three, hold, four. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you were able to go through that with your finger numbers a couple times. Now we're moving on to the letter names. So starting with the right hand, one, two, right hand start. So it's A, hold, G, hold, F, hold, hold, hold. A, hold, G, hold, F, hold, hold, hold. F, 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 F. G, 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 A, hold, G, hold, F, hold, hold, hold. Now the left hand. One, two, ready, play. A, hold, G, hold, F, hold, hold, hold. A, hold, G, hold, F, hold, hold, hold. F, 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 G, 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 A, hold, G, hold, F, hold, hold, hold. All 
All right, welcome back for the bonus. Hands together, you got this. Same letter names, different finger numbers. So pay attention to where you're starting. We're going to begin with both A's. One, two, ready, together. A, hold, G, hold, F, you got this. Hold, hold, again, A, hold, G, hold, F, hold, hold, now F, 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 G, 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 and F, A, hold, G, hold, F, two, three, and oh. All right, now that we've worked through some learning of our notes, technique, a song, let's jump into some theory study. Now, theory doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to be hard. I'm going to walk you through what I'm providing you with down in the description box below. You'll actually have a place with a specially programmed exercise for you to practice the notes that we went through today. Now, I have already preset all of what you need, so you don't have to figure things out or go straight to the website. This is a free website for practice. However, they do have an app that is available as well. I believe it's around $2.99 where you can work through it. But again, this is a great um, system here because it's already set to what we're practicing. So take a look. It's going to open up as a challenge unless you've opened it up before, then it will already open up to your exercise. Now down at the bottom, you're going to see that you actually have the four notes that we covered today. F, G, A, and B. Now I want you to keep in mind that we had our three black keys that were actually helping us to identify F, right? So anytime you have three black keys to the left, you have F. So if you know F, then you'll work your way from F to G to A, and finally where this red dot is, that will be B. So you simply click on the note that it is. So if you look down below, it actually is helpful because it says F, G, A, B. Those are the order of the notes that you have right there on the keys. So again, here you're identifying where the red dot marks. So you have F, G, A. So you'd go ahead and click A. Next one, F, G, right? Using F as your guide until these become second nature. And finally, we find our way for an F. At the top, you'll see it's keeping score as well as your percentage. So it's a great way to see how well you're doing as you work through this. Now at the very top right, there will be three dots. If you click those three dots, you'll be able to end the challenge. Now here it will give you your score, your high score, as well as how long it took you to play this through. If you hit the view report, it will give you a entire report of what you did, question limit, multiple, how I've set up the actual activity for you. Feel free to post your highest score in the comments below. I'd love to see how you're doing as well as celebrate your progress as you're learning. One more thing, once you hit start challenge, it's going to be a fresh score and percentage at the top. It will reset the time as well. Let's say you hit the wrong note. If you hit the wrong note, it actually is set to give you multiple attempts. So the idea is that I don't want you to miss the notes that you don't know. So then this will take you and give you the opportunity to look once more and say, okay, what note is this? Not an F. F is my, on the left of my three black keys. F, G, A, aha, we have an A here. And then so on and so forth. And see if you can beat your score. Each one is actually set to 20 questions. So once you're done, you'll be able to see the last score. You click on that and it's out of 20 questions. So I hope you have an awesome time working through the theory. You can do it as many times as you wish. So why not practice it through and keep going and getting better at these notes before we move into some rhythm and finally the staff. It has been an absolute honor working through F, G, A, and B on the white keys with you today. 
Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you're notified as I put out new videos every Wednesday to work you through this beginning piano course. Completely free to you, fun, educational, plus some exercises. Down below, you'll actually also get the free music that is provided through the course. So be sure to check that out. You click the link and it's going to take you to a download as well as the video that you have for these songs. Be sure to print those out, use them, keep them in a folder. And you'll have everything to go when you sit down to practice. I am here. I cannot wait to see you again next week. Have an incredible rest of your day.